the fat-tailed false anachronis, also known as the fat-tailed pseudo anachronis, and the red-eared anachronis, is a carnivorous marsupial. They belong to the Daisyomorphia order and the false anachronis genus. They have at least concerned conservation status. The animal was discovered in 1896, and for a while it was seen as an actual species of anachronis. They can be found in western and central Australia. The fat-tailed false anachronis is an insectivore. The insects that they will eat most of the time are beetles, grasshoppers, and termites. Now, as their name suggests, they store fat in their tail, which kind of looks like a lizard's tail to me. Their tail grows to be 3 inches long and is very rough in its texture. These animals can grow to be 3 to 4 inches long and weigh up to or less than an ounce. These guys are gray-brown in color. Like their other name suggests, the red-eared anachronis, the back of their ears have red blotches on them, and their underside is gray-white. The fat-tailed false anachronis may be my sole animal because they are very antisocial and like to live in very protected areas. The fat in their tail allows them to go without food for a very good amount of time. In the winter, these animals will go into a state of torpor inside of rock crevices at night, and when the sun rises, they will bask in the sun while still torpid. The fat-tailed false anachronis is nocturnal, and they make their homes in rocky areas and fill it up with grass and clumps of bushes. Both the male and females of the species will reach sexual maturity when they are 350 days old. The interval between the gestation period lasts for 12 months. The females will carry all six of their joeys on each teat in her pouch for 40 days, who will suckle for 14 weeks. The fat-tailed false anachronis can live for up to 7 years, just like other species of false anachronis. These animals will also go into torpor when they are stressed.